Here we have a rather strange but sensible interaction. A crow hitching a ride on eagle transport isn't something one would see on a day-to-day -day basis. The eagle doesn't seem to care about the crow on its back, but the crow is able to safely and quickly arrive at its destination without spending too much energy flying itself there. This serves as an advantage for the crow, but doesn't affect the eagle in any way. This is an example of commensalism. Another example of commensalism would come from the Principia High School, in which students l compost leftover food after meals. It doesn't affect the students in themselves, but it serves as an economic and environmental benefit. Now here we see a more common relationship, just not in the United States. Now this interaction is between the Egyptian plover and an African crocodile. The Egyptian plover, native to Africa, is blue-gray and grows about 19 to 21 centimeters long. The African crocodile, native to Africa, can grow anywhere from 3.5 to 5 meters. That's 11.5 to 16.5 feet. All this weighing from 500 to 1600 pounds. In comparison, the average American alligator is 13 feet, weighing about 800 pounds. Now, this symbiotic relationship we see here between the Egyptian plover and the African crocodile is mutualism. The African, the, the plover is picking clean the teeth of the crocodile and in return is getting a meal. Now the crocodile's teeth are becoming, are getting cleaned and in, in doing so reduces the risk for infection. Now this is mutualism because both organisms are positively gaining from this. Mutualism at Principia may look like a study group before final exam where all students share their knowledge and in return learn what they didn't know.